A sad time. Um, is this place always so gloomy? Yes, and I couldn't tell you why. My wife and I think there's some dark magic at work. Or perhaps RK's influence is strong here, and he likes to keep it this way. So why does the town have such a large cemetery? The cemetery is ancient. It's been here longer than the town. I'm no scholar, but I know that a lot of battles have been fought here over the course of history. After each battle, more dead were buried and the graveyard got bigger. I heard it's now the biggest graveyard in Skyrim. Dang. Good to talk to you. Um, where is the graveyard exactly? Is it down here? Oh, there it is! Okay, because people in the comments of last episode are like, you haven't even been to the graveyard. I couldn't find it. It's kind of off the beaten path a little bit. Oh, I thought that that was a person, but this is not a person. Shrine of RK. Also, I've, I saw some dead bodies of some named people, and I have no idea how they died, but they were, like, chilling and dead. I mean, they, were, they weren't chilling so much as they were just dead. Huh. So there's people buried here. But there should be people to talk to. Maybe I should just go inside the house. I don't know. Someone said that, um... Last episode, the, the guy that was a werewolf, he killed a little girl... And apparently her parents are, like, in the graveyard or something. I mean, that's what you guys said. So I'm going to go in here and check. Um, at, at the very least, there will be more people to talk to, probably. Alright, is there anybody in here? Actually, no. There's not even a soul in here. And their Hall of the Dead is essentially outside. Adra and Daedra. Huh. Well, while I'm in here, hello, everyone, and welcome back to more Stephen Plays Skyrim. Um, I was trying to finish up Falkreath, and then, because there was a few comments last episode that were like, Hey, you gotta talk to these people. I figured I'd stop by, but I actually don't see anyone. I will check outside one more time, though. I, uh, I didn't see anybody, but, um, there were a few dead people. And I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Also, is this connected to anything, or is this just chilling back here? I guess it's... This is the pathway up to it. Oh, wait, here's someone. Yo, Indara. My husband Matthias and I tend Corpse Light Farm. Yep, I talked to him. <sighs> Falkreath is a hard place, and tending a farm here is thankless work. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Matthias is a kind and wise man. The Nords could use more like him. So could the Imperials. Oh, tee hee. How could people see all the graves in Falkreath and still want to make war? It's a good point. Oh, well, Falkreath is a hard place, and tending a farm here is thankless work. Okay, um, pretty much said all we need to say to each other. I'll show you guys at least where one of the dead people were, because there was a dead guy, and I don't know if he's important. But, um, those are the people... I've talked to the people that run the farm. Um, or the thing. And they're just, they're doing the farm. I don't see anyone that tends the, the graveyard. But here was where the dead guy was. He was just chilling here, Runo. And he had a uh, key of RK on him. So, I'm assuming that he ran the Hall of the Dead, maybe? Which is kind of bad, because maybe he was important to a quest. But he's dead. And I don't know when he died. I don't know why he's dead. I feel like there was another dead person around here, too. But occasionally, when I fight dragons, um, they'll kill people. And then later on, I'm like, you know, there's someone I need for a quest, and I, I stumble across them, but they're dead. And they've been there for, you know, God only knows how long. Anyway, I'm going to do something real quick because I was asked to do it a few episodes ago and I want to get it done. Quickly, to the college. You are just who I wanted to talk to. Restoration is a perfectly valid... Yes, honey, Take yes it is. You guys told me that I needed to come by a new spell because now, based on my um, level, she should be selling Grand Healing, which she is. Heals everyone close to the caster 300 points. Yes. Is there any other things in here? Undead up to the math. I have that. I have that. No, all these suck. Uh, but now, I have apparently what is like the best restoration spell to have. And uh, you guys did tell me to do this a few episodes ago, but I'm just now getting around to it. Grand healing. Boom. And uh, that could be useful um, in many ways. Not only for healing me, but it also heals those around me. Boom. Favorite it. All right. All right. Yes, all right then is, is, is right. We have got to get on board I some other things. 
So what I've decided to do is come over to Markarth. Last episode we attempted to do a talking episode in Falkreath, and for the most part we did. We did a lot of the talking, and ultimately we've talked to everyone in Falkreath that we would ever need to talk to, except for the parents in the graveyard, but I apparently can't find them. Um, so, what we're going to do now is do the exact same thing, but we're going to take on Markarth. I don't know how long it'll take, but we're going to talk to everyone who we haven't talked to yet. Huh? Heard you broke out of Sidna Mine with those four sworn. Do you have any idea how many died? Probably a few. Uh, dare I ask where all this meat comes from? Ah, now that is a good question. Where does Hogni get the finest, freshest meat from all over to reach? People. The answer is simple. Orcs. Oh. There is a stronghold nearby whose hunters can butcher a deer in seconds. Now having an orc for a wife would be something. Yes. Strong and bulky. Too bad they don't let people go beyond the walls. Let me show you where they are. Maybe they welcome you. Maybe they put an arrow in your face. Who knows? Huh. Interesting. I could go meet the orcs and be friends, maybe. Uh, you were at Namor's Feast, weren't you? Don't go talking about that. Only the dinner guests can know. Wait a minute. But the... Oh, God. Oh, God. This guy was at the... Uh, never mind. I had some questions about the city. Do I look like a guide? Only thing I do is sell meat. Are you going to buy or not? Sheesh. Sorry. Uh, Come back when you need more meat. Bring gold. Guy's creepy. He was at the feast to eat people. Is this the mine they were talking about? I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what was updated. But apparently there was a there's a place nearby where there are orcs. And we could be friends, maybe. Let's talk to Come more back people. When you need you. You aren't with the Forsworn, are you? People say they saw you when the prisoners escaped. So many dead. I don't know anything about that. The city looks so ancient. Have you been here long? My family came here centuries ago. We made a good living smithing the silver that flows through the city. But you probably wanted to know about the fancy carvings and stonework, didn't you? Travelers always do. Here. I have a delivery I need to make to Calcimo. Why don't you take it to him? He knows the history of Markarth better than anyone. Uh, I'll make sure he gets it. Thank you. He can be a bit difficult, but I'm sure he'll appreciate your help. I'll, uh, I'll make sure that he gets at this episode. Did you hear all that noise outside? It's just the market travel. We should get back to work. You there, if you're here to trade, step up to the counter. Hi. Sir, what, what's Lisbon your name? handles the customers. I just check the shipments. Sure you do. Okay. I've been at Arnleaf and Sons all my life. It's a good store. Can so the storm cloaks took the reach? Maybe Talos really is on their side. This uh, store has seen better days, hasn't it? Oh, by the divines, is it that obvious? I swear, if my Gunnar was alive to see me now, this store would finally be on its feet if I hadn't lost my last shipment to the Forsworn attacks, especially made the Bella statuette. You aren't for hire, are you? A sellsword? I'll pay you if you can recover that statuette from the Forsworn. Yeah, more miscellaneous quests. I'll do it. Thank you. I'll have a sum of gold waiting for you when you return. What up? Um, also, you were at Namira's feast too, weren't you? Shh. You mustn't speak about such things away from the shrine. Only you and your dinner guests can know. So freaking weird. So who's Arnleif? I inherited the store from my husband. His father was Arnleif. My husband, Gunnar, died about five years ago. For sworn attack. I miss that stubborn oaf. Ah, There was an attack in the marketplace. Like, <laughs> 150 episodes ago. No. As if trade wasn't poor enough. Now there's violence in the streets. It was the Forsworn, wasn't it? I lose dozens of shipments every season to those barbarians. Now they're in the city? Gods help us. Hey, you wanna play a game? Uh, sure. What, what game do you wanna play? Really? Alright, you pick. Tag or hide and seek? Um, how about hide and seek? I know all the good spots. You don't stand a chance. You stand right there and count to ten. No peeking. Ready? Okay, go! Wait, really? We're, we're doing this? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, 
Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go! Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Oh my god, really? <laughs> I, I found you. That was terrible. Brr, you found me. I found you. Na, 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 na. Wait, you didn't find. We didn't even play. Hide from her. We. What the. We're done. I found you. My turn. Ten. Nine. Eight. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. You are not gonna find me. Wait, why are we playing this? Why? <laughs> this is a juvenile game. Where'd she go? Does she know where I am? That's a little break flag. Do I win? How? Wait, how do I win this game? It's impossible to win! Hey. <laughs> okay, we're done playing, okay? Just so you know. My turn! No, no, no. Found you. Yes, you did. Being an apprentice is okay, great. Okay, we're done. I Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Huh, I was not expecting to find one of these. I will take that. What's wrong with your apprentice? Tacitus? Boy's an Imperial. I keep showing him how to treat the iron, but he never gets it. In the Legion, the Imperial Smiths used to read books when they couldn't set their hammers straight. Wisdom of the old, I guess. If you find a book called The Last Scabbard of Akrash, would you bring it to me? Tacitus sure isn't learning by example. Hmm. I'll bring one if I find it. Thanks. No problem. Um, where'd you learn to smith? Grew up in a stronghold. Every orc girl tended the forge at some point. A girl has to grow up, and life in the stronghold asked for a lot in return. So I joined the Legion, mastered my trade there. You grew up in a stronghold? That's right. An orc stronghold, kept to ourselves, lived as our ancestors would have wanted. Wasn't enough for me, though. I left. Didn't want to end up as the third wife of some lowly chieftain. Hmm. Interesting. I saw you with the Forsworn. By the old gods, that was something. You're having trouble with Mulush, even though I don't know why I know that. He's a damn tyrant. Always being goaded by the Silverbloods to get more work out of us. They pay us next to nothing. We get beaten if we make a mistake. And where are our kind Nord rulers? What are they doing? Mm, what if I talk to Mulush? You're gonna try to talk sense into that orc? I'll believe it when I see it. Shouldn't be a problem. And you, sir? You escaped sin the mine. You have nothing to say. The orc's like right here. Hey, buddy. If a man has time to complain, he has time to work. Why don't you leave that guy over there alone? What? Are you telling me how to treat my workers? Do you have any idea how much metal the Silver Blood family wants us to smelt? Uh, well, you're working him to death. You need to lay off. All right, all right. You sound like a damn Legion officer, but I get it. I'll give him a break. This better not hurt our quota. Mm -hmm. Hey, buddy. Can't talk. Mullish will beat me if I stop working. No, he's not. He's gonna ease up on you. <laughs> I don't believe it. Someone's sticking up for us? Here, it's a week's wages for me, but you've earned every coin. Uh, Sweet. Next time. More money. If you want some heavy armor, I might have a deal we could work out. I need a dangerous heart. Jarl wants me to cool his new sword in blood. You get me a heart, I get you some armor. Interested? Uh, yeah, I think I could work that out. Good hunting. Huh. I have your dangerous heart, which I might, I don't know. Good. I'd prefer using water to cool my metal, but it's what the Jarl wants. Gross. Here. Some of my best armor. Wear it well. Really? What is it? Ebony. Oh, ebony. Neat. Well, I, I will sell that. Because that's what I do with it. Good to see you. Finally, someone useful is around. Need something? Um, I'd actually like to purchase a house in the city. Not really, but sure, why, why not? Why the heck not? Splendid. There's a house available right now. Hooray! I'll take it. Wonderful. Here is the key to your new home. I got so many houses, I'd like to decorate my home. I'll be glad to help you. There are many ways to improve your home, provided you have the coin. Sweet. And of course, don't forget to consult your home decorating guide for descriptions of the decorations you can buy. I don't need descriptions. Now, what would you like to purchase? I just want friggin' 
all of this. I want all Very of them. Well. I'll make the I want a nice entrance the hall, and I'm going to need... And of course. Let's see now, what am I going to need. I'm also like going to need an enchanting laboratory, because well. that... Why, why you, would you not I'll have that? To, I'm also going to need course. this... Shut now, up! Stop talking! I need like to, to get me an alchemy laboratory, because well. I'm a bit of an alchemist. I dabble, you know, put some herbs together. I'd also like to have myself some living room furnishings. Very well. Plan I'll on having some guests over. I've got two I'll followers. I'd like you. to. They, they can sleep on the couch. Now, It'd be really nice for them. Like and I purchase? want the bedroom furnishings. Then I have well, a wife. We need I'll a place to stay. That we're done. Thanks. The next time. Damn those forsworn. Think they can kill people in my city? I'll have Madanox head. My Jarl, is there anything else you need? There is room in my court for a new thane. Hooray. It's an honorary title mainly. But there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. I love perks. However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my home and who owns at least one piece of property in my city. I do you that. Help my people and purchase a house from my steward, and I'll make you my fame. Okay. It will be my honor. As you were then. Uh, I've already helped your people. <laughs> Then by my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of the Reach. Congratulations. I grant you a personal house carl to watch over your home, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. Cool. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the uh, common rabble. Never heard that before. Um, by the way, is Barkar prepared to deal with dragons? The stone structure the dwarves have left makes us invincible. Let the dragons singe a few cards. They'll never topple Markarth. Okay. And uh, what's your position on the war? The Imperials were weak. They created this forsworn problem. But now that we're in charge, we'll solve it. Once the war is over, I'll petition Ulfric to send the militia will cleanse the reach of this menace. Then the Forsworn will be where they belong, in the mines, bringing us wealth. Neat. Also, I've never talked to the Jarl in Markarth, apparently. You learn something every day. Galselmo, it's been a while. Good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. You give an old man hope. I have a delivery from Kara. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting to pick that up. Poor Kira. Such a patient woman. Now, you're supposed to get something for your trouble, aren't you? How about some gold? People seem to like that, I notice. You're really on top of things. Uh, I'm here about the enhanced Dwarven Crossbow, apparently. You are? Very good. May I see it? I don't have it anymore. Oh, well, what a terrible shame. Well, if you think you know where you left it and can retrieve it, I'll be here. I almost feel positive I've brought him one before, and then I somehow got the quest again. What? Oh, goodbye. But I'll bring him another one at some point in the future. Uh, for now, onward to other things. This is my new house! Hooray! And I got all the fixins, so this is literally as good as it can get. Oh, good. A scary man is in my house. A scary mannequin. The only way it could be better is if they did what they did in, uh, like, Fallout 3 and you had a robot butler. But why on earth would you have a robot butler in Skyrim? This, uh, comes with some soul gem fragments, which are useless. The firmament. Blue mage robes, okay. Got some place to, uh, to put some of our weapons. We have a weapon rack, and it comes with an iron sword! Oh, oh boy. Free garbage. This guy is really creepy. Long taffy treat? <gasps> I'm taking that with me. What else Wanted is to it? see you again, my thane. Jesus Christ, you scared me. Argus the Bulwark. Long life to you, thane. I'm a thane? What does that mean? The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the hold. A hero. Okay. The title of thane is an honor, a gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. Oh, they'll know who I am. So what does a house carl do, even though I know? As my thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. 
Okay. I want you to guard Fandle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is this my bedroom? No, this is my bedroom. Right? Yeah, this is it, I think. This is my bed with my pie. I love pie. I don't actually like pie. I get a dagger rack. That's a pretty nice house. Oh, wait, this is my bedroom. Yeah, this makes more sense. Cool. I've got places I can put my favorite daggers. Got a bunch of chests. And I'll probably never even come back here because I rarely use my house. And I've already kind of established Whiterun as my place of residency. But, I mean, it's still kind of neat. Anyway, um, with that being said and done, we are done. We're done with the city. We are actually done uh, with the entire town. If we take a look at the map here, that means that we have knocked out two cities. Uh, not only have we knocked out uh, do, 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 Falkreath, which is down here. Bye, Falkreath! We've also taken care of Markarth. These are major cities. We've collected all of the quests and miscellaneous quests that we can collect. At least that I could see. There might be a few outside Markarth, so we could wander around out there. So I'm going to check there, but then ultimately I'm going to be heading over to that other town. What's it called? Solitude! Yeah, we're going to Solitude because I want to return Finn's loot. I've had it for way too freaking long. Hey, you were in Nemorous Feast, weren't you? Better if we don't talk about that. As far as anyone's concerned, we all had dinner at a nice inn along the road, and nothing strange happened. Yeah. What can you tell me about Markarth? Don't fall. That's... that's funny. How long have you been training, dogs? My family's been doing it for years. You need one out in the reach. Don't want to be alone when some Forsworn comes swinging. I personally trained a whole litter for the Jarl. That reminds me, I was gonna deliver some dog food to the keep. Spiced beef, their favorite. I could deliver that for you, even though I was just freaking there. Well, look at you. Thanks. Take it to Voada. She handles all the dogs for the Jarl. Cool. I will not take that dog off your hands because I've had that dog. And doggone, that dog barks. I'm in charge of left hand mine. You cause trouble, you answer to me. Do you own this mine? That I do. If you want to grab a pickaxe and dig up some iron, feel free. I'll pay for anything you bring me. Kolskiger mine is lost, friend. Forsworn killed everyone. Is this your mine? Skaggy is in charge, not me. I mean, I shouldn't have asked that because I just talked to Skaggy, but uh, you, you know how it is. Good day. You, Don't sir. Don't know. Pavo and I had to fight our way out of Kolskiger. Forsworn killed everyone else. Man. Seems like there's some serious problems down at the Kolskager. We should check out the Kolskager at some point. Just not right now. You galloping again? My boy Leontius lives in Old Rolden. Damn drunk. You said your son is in Old Rolden? That's right. Old Inn to the south. The elf doesn't even bother to visit these days. What am I supposed to do if the dragons burn down the farm? You're a traveler, right? I have this letter for him. Let him know how much of a failure he is. Ugh. Hand me the letter. I'll take it to him. Good. You make sure the lug tips you when he gets it. Hmm. Have you lived here long? What kind of question is that? Look at me. Is this a young man's face? I've been here 50 years. And nothing's gonna move me off my land. Okay, sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi. My Big husband dis just gets cranky when he doesn't get enough sleep. Sure, sure he does. You know what? We haven't really, like, worked on a quest. Maybe we should work on a quest. Why don't we deliver this guy's letter? It's uh, at an inn right down the road, right? How far down the road? Maybe we should check and show on the map. Pretty far down the road. Um, let's hop over... Wait, we've been here before. We'll just teleport over while jumping or falling. <laughs> yeah, I was falling. I was definitely falling. Let's go over there and give this uh, give this kid this letter from his dad. Old Trolden. All right, we've been here before. Uh, we actually, I think, killed someone and pushed him off of a bridge or something here. Hi. You should head on inside. Aldis or Schooley can take care of you. I have a letter from your father. What's this? I guess some things never change. 
Thanks for bringing this to me. Here, for your trouble. Poor guy. Hey, um... Need something? No, oh, I just thought maybe we could have a chat about some stuff, but apparently not. Now, because uh, the episode still has a few minutes left and we haven't done any action-y things, I, s I propose that we do something action-y. Um, if we take a look uh, at our map here, there's been a lot of talk about this place called Skager Mine. There's a lot of trouble. So I say we hop on over to... I'm pretty sure we can't go to Skyhaven. I think that takes us inside of a temple. But why don't we go back to the farm, walk over to the mine, and solve some problems. Alright, so we're back at the uh, at the farm. And the mine is just over this way. It's not too far down. I don't know what time it is, but it's kind of late. It's one, it's 1.30 in the morning, which is why it's so dark. Uh, but we'll be inside of a mine, so it shouldn't matter too much. I think we're going to need to... I think we need to cross this river. Which I probably should have used the bridge for, but screw it. It's been a while since I've actually just kind of traversed... Skyrim, traverse the landscape. Um, I've actually enjoyed the last two episodes. Last episode, obviously, was a lot of fun turning into a werewolf. Uh, this episode was a lot more talking. But you also have to imagine um, that we are done with those cities. Like, those cities are done. Like, we probably won't have to go back to Markarth other than to finish up quests. Um, we won't have to go back to uh, Falkreath other than to finish up a few quests. Like, that's... I don't know about you guys, but to me, that's that's kind of crazy. Like, we're done with those cities. We're marking off cities. We're adding quests to our, you know, our thi- Oh, hi. Oh, God! Doggone it. We're adding quests to our list, but as soon as we're done with those quests, like, Skyrim's over. Doggone it, Ravager. You really want to mess with me? You really want a piece of this? You sure about that? That guy your buddy there should have shot you. I deliberately stood on the other side of you. Doggone it. Shut up! Christ almighty! I'm gonna blow you straight into the water. Yeah, see, the thing is, you stumble every time, son. Okay. Boom! Now, the good part is that that water's gonna put out that burn. Man, they're they're going down, down river fast. Well, screw them. I'm just trying to do something nice. Like, <laughs> say hello to this house. What is this house? Is this the mine house? This is the mine? This is Pavo's house. I think it's safe to go inside. We just talked to him, didn't we? Wasn't that the guy who was in the other place? He, like, left? Let's go inside. Should be able to break this pretty easily. And... Pop goes the lock. Okay, so what's in here? Anything? We got a pickaxe. There's a downstairs. Uh, there's nothing here, but this is where the guy lived. I'm sure he would like to return home. Return to his place of living. But he can't, because this mine, uh, which is where he worked, has been overrun by Forsworn, so that's what we're going to clear out right now. Alright, so where exactly is the mine? It says we're here, but I don't see it. It's probably that thing up there. Am I getting shot at again? I could have sworn I heard an arrow go by, but it might be my imagination. Forsworn generally don't have anything useful. Also, I'm freaking rich. So let's go up here and see what we can find. Is this the mine up here? Is this the entrance? It has to be, right? Looks like an entrance to, of a mine to me. Let's go race some hell. Now, uh, to be honest, we don't have a whole lot of time left in the episode, but I shouldn't need a whole lot of time. I'm going to come in here and shoot some folks. There? Yeah, it would be me. Da -da -da. Sucks for you, doesn't it? Everybody shoot him. Sorry, Pando. <laughs> that was an accident. <laughs> He's paralyzed and also pretty dead. Killed a man while he was down. But sometimes... That's how it happens. Further down into the mine, let's clear this thing up so these people can get back to what they were doing. Mining and making a good, honest living for themselves. There's like no force worn in the mine. What do they talk? Oh, here's some. Hi, guys. Boom. Sucks for you. Pow. Yeah, could you guys poke this guy? Trying to soul trap him. And 
he's dead. Alright, let's move on, move on. Group effort. See, I've never really worked as a team. You having, you having some problems there? Little Breck Flag? You've already lost. <laughs> Doesn't seem like Fandle's having an issue. Little Breck Flag. Honey. You seem really pissed that you can't climb stairs. Little Breck Flag, come on. Come on, just one foot after the other, honey. One, one, do you need some... Here, let me just push. Get little Breck Flag. You know what, um... I'm I'm sure you'll you'll catch up. Poor little guy. Wait, are you alive? Oh, yeah. You're dead. What a terrible way to die. What do you got on you? Yeah, you you guys all have garbage. Uh I don't know if there's anything uh in particular I'm looking for in the mine. Probably once I kill like the big guy, then I will have cleared out the mine. Boom! Pow! 88 baby. Boom! God sucks for you. Aw, she said mercy right before I killed her. <laughs> oh, it happens that way. Oh, hey, Briarheart. It's a big one. It's a big one. Oh, God. Don't get zapped. Don't get zapped. Ugh. Yeah, that's right. Good job. Good job, little buddy. Paralyze him, or whatever it is your sword does. Keep hitting him. Hit him again. There you go. Everybody swing. Good night. Yeah, your body is still on fire. Tell Pavo that Kill Skager mine is cleared. Well, goody, goody McTwo shoes. Happy to have helped. You have a chest or something here? I think that's like a quick return hole. You gotta have like a chest or something, right? Like something of value. There's some gold ingots, but I don't really like to bother. You don't have... Uh, Fine. Jumping down the hole. Whee! What's down here? Is this just where I was before? This is where I was before. Okay. Well, I will let Pavo know that he can return to work. And get crap done. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I know it was a talk-tastic episode, but you also have to kind of look at the fact that we have cleared two cities worth of stuff, which is really sweet. We have a lot of miscellaneous quests. Um, let me know down below if you want me to do another talking city episode for next time, or if you want me to start working on miscellaneous quests, or if you want me to do one of these. Uh, promises to keep has been here. I'm sure that none of these are going to take the entire episode, so we could probably jump into whatever you want, um, except for no stone, no turn, because that's going to take forever. <laughs> Let me know. Miscellaneous quests, uh, more city talking to earn miscellaneous quests. You say it, and I'll do it. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time for more Stephen Please Skyrim.